file permissions. In this lesson, we will learn how you could change the permissions of your files and directories. This way, you, you are protecting your environment, your files, and your directories from being viewed by other users or being deleted by other users. Unix is a multi-user system. Every file and directory in your account can be protected from or made accessible to other users by changing its access permissions. Every user has a responsibility for controlling access to their files. Permissions for a file or a directory may be restricted to by its types. There are three types of permissions. Read, write, and execute. I'm sure you know read and write. What does it mean by execute? If it's a program, if, it's, if a file itself is a script or a program, it has an X permission, which is executable. Not everybody is allowed to run a certain permission. So if a user is allowed to run a program, they would have an executable permissions to it. E permission, which is read, write, and executable, can be controlled at three different levels. At a user level, which is yourself, at a group level can be people in the same project or group or the same department or others like everyone else. File or directory permission can be displayed by running ls-l command. So you will see here at the bottom you'll see read write x. The first bit shows that it's it's a file. The, the the next three bits shows it has read, write, and executable permission by the user. The, the second three bits are for the group, and the third three bits are for the others. Command to change the permission is change mod. A lot of times it's also referred to as chmod. So let's look at our Linux machine. So this way, I will better explain to you how permission works. Again, the first step you always do is to check who you are. You are yourself, which directory you are in, and you are in your home directory. And when you do ls, this command will show you documents and folders and files, but it's not going to show you the details, whether it's a directory, what permission it has, or what's the size of it. So what's the option we use? I'm sure you know this by, that, by now. ls minus l, or ltr, or whichever you prefer. So when you do ls minus l, you see the listing of all the files with all its details. Now let's pick one file. Let's pick, um, we'll pick Jerry. We also use the option ls minus l Jerry. Here you'll see the first bit right here dash. This one refers to as it's a file. The second three bits referred to as read, write, and execute. Now this shows the user I absolve, which is myself who created this file, has only read and write permissions. I do not have executable permission. It means I this file is not a script. That's why it does not have executable. If it was a script, then it would have X to it. So I have me myself as I absolve has a right and right to read the file and write to write to it. The second group who owns it, who has a permission, is right here, is R, W, and again, dash, which means the group, which is the group itself is also I absolve, also have R, W, and dash. And the last one is other. These last three permissions is that the others are can only 
read this file, they cannot write to it or they cannot delete to it. So these are the permissions at the level of user, group, and others. Now let's take the command to change these file permissions. What's the command to change the file system is change mod. Again, every time you are learning a new command, I will highly recommend you that after the lesson, you run man and chmod, followed by the command name. This will give you all the details about the command, what it does, what options it has, what the commands are used for, and so on. So I'm going to use chmod command. And I what I wanted to do right now is I want to have the group right here, these three bits. I want this group to not have the w, the right permission. So I will do is g as a group minus w and the file name, Jerry. So what I'm telling the operating system to do is remove the write permissions from the file name Jerry. Again, this shows that I have a command right here, and these are my options, and these are my arguments. So once I execute that, it will give me my prompt back, and when I do ls minus l t r minus l Jerry, and you will see right here now there is no write permission. So anyone in the group I absolve cannot write to this file. They could still read it, but they cannot write to it. Now I want to remove the read permission from everyone. So the command to do that is chmod. And if you want to do for everyone, then you use a as for all minus r. And which file are you? working on you working on Jerry so you hit enter and you do ls minus ltr or just l and Jerry and you will see no one has read permissions now we only have the right permission by the user I have saw I want to remove that right permission as well so what do I do chmod and now which option am, am I going to use? I'm going to use you as user. Remember we have three different groups, three different ways we could change it right here. Each permission can be controlled at three levels, U, G, and O. So I'm going to use you as because you as myself minus W, Jerry. How do I verify it again? You do ls minus l, Jerry. And there you go. Now you could tell by looking at this file that it has no permission. So even myself, if I wanted to delete this file, I cannot delete this file. Let's look at rm to remove a file, Jerry. It will say remove write protected regular empty file. It is giving me the warning sign that you, this is right protected. If I say yes, then it will remove it because since I'm the owner actually, but it does give me a warning sign. So I don't want to remove it. I'll just say no. And then if I wanted to read a file, to read a file, you could use the command cat, which I will cover later on. But for this lesson, I'll just tell you Jerry, we could do the read and I will see it says permission denied why is that because I don't even have a read permission to read that file so I wanted to give back all the access that all the permissions that I had at the beginning right here is the file and I wanted to give back all the permissions so let's start with first user chmod and the user is you and I wanted to give plus because I'm adding permission I'm going to give read and W and Jerry let's see if it has the permission that I want yes it has it now the user has it now I wanted to give this group the same thing so what do you do by the way you could run up arrow key 
to go back to the last command that you typed. So this, in this case, will just replace U with G. Hit enter. Let's check it again. And there you go. We, the user has it read write. The group has it read write, but others don't have anything. Well, when we created the file, others had the read permission. So I wanted to assign to others as well. So the command to do is, is change mod others plus read Jerry. Let's try it again to see if it worked. And it did. Now we got all the permissions back. Now this same command works on a directory, works on a link, and works on a file. You could use on any one. So these are the three permissions that you could see. You have this permission column, the first column, in your ls-l output. This would tell you what kind of permissions you have. Now, what if a directory has this executable right here? Does that mean the directory is a script? No. The reason it means X here is because you could CD into that directory. That's why you have X in the directories. So if I have this um, directory called Seinfeld, I could do CD Seinfeld and I could log into, I could actually get into the Seinfeld directory. Now let's go one step back and do ls minus ltr again. And now I don't, I want to take away the permissions to, for everyone to go into that directory. So what do I do? It's change mod. I want everyone, so a minus executable Seinfeld. So now when you do ls minus ltr, you'll see this uh, directory has read write but no executable, read, write, no executable, read, write, no ex read, no executable, no write. So can I CD into that directory now? I don't know, let's see. CD Seinfeld. Permission denied. All right, why? Because we don't have executable right to that directory. We have to have an executable right to CD into that directory. So let's assign the permission back. All plus X. Seinfeld and let's check again and you'll see the Seinfeld at the bottom now has executable executable and executable this is how you could protect your files and directories from being manipulated or being deleted even by accident